This is pre-calc lesson 30, number 27. I started writing it on paper, and then I, well, you know, I get a little lazy. Sorry about the shadow. Um, I kind of wrote it in my book <laughs> with the, that's with a pencil. So, it says we have um, CD is 70, so I just kind of try to do this without a shadow. There's the 70. And so that gave me this angle right here is an inscribed angle, this little part right here. It had to be 35. And why did I want that? Oh, gosh, I can't even remember why I wanted that, but um, that gives me 35. Um, let's see, what did I do next? Next, I said, I looked at this little 30, and I said, oh, if this is 30, the one across from it is 60. Right, because it's an inscribed angle, and its arcs are intercepting the circle at A and B, so arc AB is 60. Hopefully you can, you can see that. And then angle A is 40, and it's intercepting the circle at B and C, so arc BC is 80, you know, because the inscribed angles are half the measure of the, of the arc they intercept. Um, so that gave me the idea of how I could get Y. I said, well, now I know if I will go around the circle starting at D, I got 70 plus 80 plus 60. So I added that all together and subtracted it from 180. And that gave me 150. Okay, so... So then, and I know that an inscribed angle is uh, half of the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So I went 150 divided by 2, I got 75. Uh, where did I get the 70 from for x? Well, since I'd already done these two, this is 60 and 80. 60 and 80, I think, added up to 140. Half of 140 70. So there's that one.